Hey you guys, it's Mr. So Fabulous. So today's video is going to be my top 10 shades, lipstick shades, for the spring this year. Now, this isn't any guidelines or anything like this. This is just in my opinion, you know, some of the fun colors that you will be seeing me wear a lot lately. So if you guys have, you know, your own opinion or different colors that you feel is a big trend for this summertime, please leave them in the description box below. I would love to see what you guys, um, you know, have um, to share. So the first lipstick shade I'm actually wearing right now, and it is actually Wet n Wild's Dollhouse Pink. Now everybody knows about this infamous shade. Wet n Wild makes fabulous matte lipsticks for a dollar ninety nine. You can't beat this, okay? So it's a beautiful shade. I'm just gonna swatch it on my hand. But absolutely love this color and I'm actually wearing it with a MAC Pro Longwear lip pencil and it braced me. Alright you guys, so this next shade is a Maybelline Color Sensational Lipstick. And this one right here is called Flawless Fuchsia. Now this color isn't super pigmented on the lips. Um, it is a sheer, uh, more of a sheer formulation. Um, but with a couple of swatches you can build um, the opacity that you would like um really pretty color i would definitely pair this with a really pretty deep eggplant purple lip liner just to make the lips stand out a lot bit a lot um better um i wouldn't recommend this for some deeper com um, complexion women because it might look make you look a little sick or um dead like so i'm just gonna swatch that on my hand and that's that color right there Alright you guys, the next lip shade is another Maybelline Color Sensational Lipstick. And this one is in Afternoon Tea. It's a really pretty, mauve nude lip. It's not so pale and overwhelming. It's a nice complement to your natural lip color, which I really like about this lipstick. It's definitely a nice wash of color if you don't want to go too dramatic on the lips. Um, this is definitely something that you can wear every day, work appropriate, everything like that. So I'm just going to swatch this one on my hand for you guys. And that's that color right there. Alright you guys, so this shade, I'm not even quite sure if you can even tell that there's anything on my lips, but this is in Inglot Lipstick and this is in number 246 and this is a pearl finish. You know, I don't really like pearls, but um, I really like this color. It's a really pretty, I'm horrible at describing colors, but like a... Uh, a mid-tone pink. It's not so bubblegummy. It's more wearable. Once again, another um, lipstick that complements your natural skin color. And that's what the color looks like right here. And that's the color right there on my hand. Definitely another color that um, is more work appropriate, um, something that you can get away with wearing every day. I really like it actually um, with this makeup look because it actually kind of tones down the look even though I'm wearing all this glitter on my face. Alright you guys, the next lipstick is this really pretty fun salmon coral color. Um, I got a lot of questions in my iMatte haul about what lipstick shade I was wearing. I was actually wearing this one and this is a MAC lipstick this is a mac sheen supreme lipstick and blossom couture and in that video i actually paired it with this mac pro long wear lip pencil in lasting sensation so this goes hand in hand um wearing it with a matching lip pencil really brings out that color um, once again, it is a, um, a Sheen Supreme, so it's more of a, a light coverage, really shiny, moisturizing color, but still a pretty color. This is going to be my favorite color for the upcoming spring and summertime. Absolutely love this color. And let me just swatch this one on my hand before I forget. And that's the color right there. It's really hard to see on my hand, but that's the color. Alright you guys, so this next shade is another salmon color, more on the orangey creamsicle side. And this one is Revlon's Smoked 
peach lipstick now this will look really pretty with a nice dark chestnut lip liner or even if you don't want to go so dark uh, just a nice nude lip liner would really bring out this lipstick as well because um to me on my face without a lip liner it kind of like washes my lips out and just you know, I feel like you can't tell where my lips start from the rest of my face. So by bringing out a lip liner will actually help, you know, define my actual lip shape and actually, you know, make them look fuller and much plumper. So once again, this is Revlon Smoked Peach. And that is that color right there. Alright you guys, so the next lipstick shade that I'm wearing is actually an OCC Lip Tar. And this Lip Star, <laughs> Lip Star, this Lip Tar is called Trick. Mm. <laughs> Love OCC's names for their lip tarts, but yes, this is a really pretty pale nude. I actually love this on um, darker women of color. I actually put this on um, a really dark Coco Ebony Girl with a really nice dark chocolate lip liner. I recommend wearing lip liner regardless. It doesn't matter what skin tone you are. If you're going to wear this lip tart, I recommend wearing a nice dark chestnut brown lip liner to wear with it. But I absolutely love it. Um... It's not too warm and rich. It's just light enough um, without being too pale that it makes you look deadly and ghost-like. So I absolutely love this color. Once again, this is OCC's Trick. And this is that color right there on my hand. All right, you guys. So this next lip color that I'm wearing is also another OCC lip tie. Now, I completely apologize because the name is completely rubbed off the back of this. So if you remember the name of this, please let us know in the description box below. I believe it was like Troll. It's not Grandma. It's similar to Grandma. Absolutely love this color. I believe this came, this color came out with last year's spring collection with OCC. But this is another shade that you would definitely have to wear with a lip liner. I would definitely pair this lip tar with the Lasting Sensation um, lip liner from MAC. Like an orangey um, lip liner. It is a corally peach um, color or um, you know a nice neutral lip liner. Just something to outline the lips so you know that your lips are actually there. Um, Love the OCC Lip Tars. Um, they do dry to a matte finish. So if you don't like that matte drying feeling on your lips, I suggest that you would top it with a clear gloss or something. Or a clear gloss. Or a gloss that complements the lip color. So you get um, you know, a more comfortable wear out of the, the Lip Tars. And I'm going to put that on my hand for you. And as you can see, this is a really bright neon color, and that's that color right there. Once again, I completely apologize. I believe it was like Troll or something like that, I swear. Because when I pulled this lip tar out, I swear the name was on there. Now, there's no name on it, so I don't know what the hell is going on. So we're winding down to the last two lipsticks. Alright, you guys, so this is the next lip color, and this is a Maybelline sensation color sensational vivids collection and this color right here is called hot plum now a lot of plums and purple shades are really huge for this springtime because matt came out with that color heroin if you guys can't get your hands on heroin i do have a purple lipstick called melinda that you guys can get your hands on as well but this is a really really Oh, this is such a gorgeous shade. Absolutely love this color. A lot of people would say this is more for fall, but to me, this just screams springtime. Like, I would love to wear this color with some, like, light pastels, you know, just to add a nice pop of color to, you know, my outfit, just to give you that bam to your outfit. Um, once again, love this color. Don't feel the need to have to add a gloss or wear a lip liner with this lipstick. And that is that color right there. And of course, I couldn't do this video without adding a red lipstick. Now, for the springtime, you don't want to go for more of your deeper reds and burgundies. You want to go with the more yellow-based red lipstick. This is going to be that bright, vibrant red. And this look color that I'm wearing on my lips is in... Inglot lipstick and this is Inglot's number 127. Absolutely love this. This is also uh is this a matte? It feels like a cream. 
Yeah, this is more of um, their cream um, based lipsticks. Love Inglot's lipsticks because they smell like passion fruit. Like, oh my goodness, it just smells so freaking good. It smells better than MAC. I don't like the vanilla smell from MAC. This one smells way better. But once again, you want to go for a more um, yellow based um, red lipstick during the summertime. Now, not a lot of people can pull off, you know, the yellow um, based lipsticks. But once again, this is not a guideline for lip colors that you should wear during the springtime. This is just my preference on a lot of different shades that I will be rocking this springtime.